La 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 la. I love walking and texting and not looking where I'm going. Ah! <laughs> oh my, where am I going? Where am I floating to? Ooh. Oh my, could this be <gasps> heaven? But wait a second, who's that? I am the great god of Calvinism, and I condemn you, you dirty Arminian, to an eternity in hell! <laughs> oh no! An eternity in hell! But for what? What did I do? You rejected the almighty god of Calvinism, who causes all things to happen. And you accepted the heresy of Arminianism, a special place in hell for you, boy. Wait a second, how can I reject someone who causes all things to happen? To reject means to refuse to cooperate with. But if you cause all things to happen, then it will be impossible to refuse to cooperate with you. Uh, uh, uh. What, what, what? To reject someone means to go against their will. Hence, it's impossible to reject someone whose will is always done. If everything you decide to do happens, then rejection is impossible. So you can't send me to hell for rejecting you, since that's an impossibility. Then I'll send you to hell because Christ didn't die for you. Christ only died for a limited number of people, and you weren't one of them! Off to hell with you! But where does the Bible say Christ only died for a limited number of people? Matthew 1.21 said Jesus will save HIS people from their sins. Acts 20.28 20, said that Christ shed his blood for the church. Okay, but if we say Christ died for all people, and Christians are included in all people, then to say that Christ died for Christians and everybody else isn't a contradiction. Uh, uh, uh what, what? Look at it this way. Those verses say that Christ died for Christians. Yet other verses say that Christ died for everybody. And since Christians are somebody, they're included under the umbrella of everybody. Hence, Christ died for Christians does not mean that he didn't die for everybody else, because points one and two are not contradictory. So if you want to show that Christ only died for Christians, you can't use verses that say he died for Christians. You have to find a verse which states there is somebody for whom Christ did not die. Does such a verse exist? Well, well, no, but, but, you know what? I, I've been very, very patient with you, and I'm just about to- Wait a minute. How can you be patient about anything? Patience means to tolerate delays outside of your control. How can you control all things and at the same time tolerate things outside of your control? That's a contradiction. I am the great god of Calvinism and I sentence you to an eternity in Wait a second, what's behind that curtain? John MacArthur, R.C. Sproul, and John Piper, what are you guys doing here? Pay no attention to those fools behind the curtain. I am the great and mighty... God of, 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 of Calvinism. Oh, you guys were just pretending. The God of Calvinism isn't God at all. Hooray! But how do I get out of here? Follow the Roman road. 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 Follow, 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 follow the Roman road. Oh, thanks for watching, folks. Bye.